What about Amir Khan? He said that um, Manny has moved into the top of his list now when he comes back to 147. Is that a possibility, Freddie? Or how do you like that fight? It, it was talked about before. Why is he top of the list? I mean, the thing is, he just got knocked out cold. I mean, he better take some time off and just readjust. And, and like, I think that maybe, was maybe, maybe he said that because of the knockout. Because, like, no, the, the, he needs some time off. That was a devastating blow. I mean, I'm happy that he's, I'm really happy that he, he's okay. Because, uh, you know, I don't want anyone to get hurt in the ring, of course. But, I mean, that was a big shot. And the way his head snapped on the canvas, uh, sometimes that's real dangerous. You know, I, I was worried about him. And um, I'm glad that he came out of it okay. Um, if him and Pacquiao decide to fight somewhere down the line, that, that's fine. But uh, right now, he just needs to take a little bit of a rest. But what were your thoughts when he hit the floor? Because you've been there in Manny's corner when he put down Ricky Hatton and he went, when he went down with Marquez. Um, what was your initial reaction to that when he hit the floor? You know, when, Manny, the, when Manny hit the floor? No, 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 Khan. Khan? As to those moments, you've been a part of those moments in your I career. Was, I was worried. Because usually when they have the whiplash like that on the canvas, a lot of bad things happen when that, when that brain hits that thing. That, that, and I, they took him right to the hospital, which is the right thing to do. Uh, but, you know, like, I don't know why they stand fighters up after a fight after he gets knocked out like that. Medically speaking, if you talk to any doctor in the world, they say the best thing is to let him lie flat, put him on a stretcher, and take him out. I mean, but it looks good for the audience when they get up and walk. You know, but the thing is, it's a little bit dangerous, I feel. Um, I've talked to a lot of doctors about that, and they all seem to agree with me, but nobody seems to take the protocol and take it and, 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 and make the commission like, you know, when a guy gets knocked out like that, leave him, let him be, take him out of the street to make sure you know, safety needs to be a little bit in all areas, of course. Not just the trainers, not just the fighters, the promoters, every, and the doctors and the commissions. They should all know these things because, I mean, you know, I know a lot because my ex-girlfriend's a doctor, right? <laughs> and then she, I asked her, can you ask, I asked her, to ask 10 doctors that question, and they all answered the same. And she said, Freddie, every doctor is trained the same way in every school. He said, that's why doc, doc, there's, there's not much of a difference there. There's no, there's no like opinions. It's yes, this way, and that's it. And that's how that, but I'm, you know, when they got him up, I was a little bit worried. I mean, because, you know, his, he hit his head hard, you know. Yeah, Concussions are terrible.